Bond between the India and Russia has been very strong which continues until today. Both consider them as a special privilege strategic partnership. India and Russia together align the interest of creating multipolar world, each being one pole instead of bipolar world. The world is moving towards greater multipolarity through steady and continuous rebalancing and that especially means a multipolar Asia. As prominent nations who have a positive history of working together, this will naturally influence the conversations between Russia and India. India oil deals with Russia chips away the dollar dominance. India is the world number three importer of oil and Russia become its leading supplier after the Europe sanctioned Moscow suppliers following its invasion in Ukraine. India's imports of crude oil from Russia continues to soar. A record 1.6 million barrels of Russian crude is flowing freely into India daily. The quantity is more than the combined crude imports from India's traditional suppliers, Iraq and Saudi Arabia. India's vast network of refineries is turning Russian crude into petrol and diesel at a pace faster than ever and in quantities never seen before. After a coalition opposed to the war imposed on oil price cap on Russia on December 5th, Indian customer has paid most of his Russian oil on non-dollar currency, including United Arab Emirates dirham and more recently on Russian ruble. Along with the G7, the European Union and Australia agreed the price cap last year to bar the Western service and shipping from trading Russian oil until and unless it is sold on the price cap. Before we get into any further, I want to know your opinion whether the sanction on Russia really working? Three Indian banks backed some of the transaction as Moscow seeks de-dollarization its economic and traders to avoid sanction. But continued payment in dirham for Russian oil could become harder after the United States and the Britain last month added Moscow and Abu Dhabi based bank MTS to the Russian financial institute on the sanction list. As most Russian banks have faced the sanctions since the war, but the Indian customer and Russian supplier determined to keep the trade going. They are working on building a direct infrastructure between Russia and Indian banking system. India's largest lender, State Bank of India, has a Nastro or foreign currency account in Russia, and similarly, many banks from Russia has opened account with Indian banks to facilitate the trade. IMF Deputy Manager Gita Gopinath said in the last month after the Russian invasion of Ukraine that sanction on Russia could erode the dollar dominance by encouraging smaller blocks using other currency.